we have two polynomials here fx and gx fx is equal to 3x minus 6 and gx is equal to x squared minus 4. Now zeros or roots zeros or roots of a polynomial are those values of x for which this polynomial becomes 0 or this polynomial becomes 0. So in this case it is 3x minus 6 right for which value value or values of x this polynomial fx 3x minus 6 becomes 0. Now clearly if you put here 2 that is if you put x is equal to 2 that is f2 this becomes 3 multiplied by 2 minus 6 and this becomes 6 minus 6 this becomes 0. So for the value of x that is equal to 2 if x is equal to 2 then this polynomial fx becomes 0 its value becomes 0 that's why we say that 0 is the 0 or root of polynomial fx in this case okay here are two important things first of all the term 0 and root these two terms are used interchangeably right but that that's the first point but they are not the same thing they are very closely related but they are a little little different how whenever you find try to find out the root like in this case if someone asks you what's a zero of this polynomial or zero of this polynomial fx it means that that person is asking for which value value or values of x this polynomial becomes zero but in order to find that you what we do what we actually do is we take 3x minus 6 is equal to 0 from here you do 3x is equal to 6 and from here you get x is equal to 6 by 3 and from here you get x is equal to 2 now you you might say that hey you know what's the need of doing this we can clearly see that if we put uh, at the place of x if we put 2 then we get this polynomial becomes 0 and that's correct but the way to find out that value is actually by equating this polynomial to 0 and when you do this this actually is what it's a polynomial equation now and I'll explain you what do we mean by that it's a polynomial equation now when we simply say polynomial polynomial means what it's actually a expression it's actually a expression remember algebraic expressions and algebraic equations algebraic expressions means that those expressions like they are simply expressions but when you equate it to something like here you are at this is an algebraic expression but when you do it equal to zero it means that now it has become equation you have two sides one is a left hand side and one is a right hand side now it's not a polynomial or an algebraic expression anymore it's now a equation right that's why we call it a polynomial equation here this fx is now a polynomial equation because fx is equal to zero now okay when we say that for the value of x is equal to 2 this polynomial equation holds true that is lhs that is left hand side is equal to right hand side equation means that right when the left hand side is equal to right hand side and this polynomial equation in this polynomial equation the left hand side that is 3x minus 6 becomes equal to right hand side that is 0 for the value of x is equal to 2 that's why this x is equal to 2 is the root of this polynomial equation fx is equal to 0 but when someone asks you for root then that means that that person is only asking for the polynomial little difference polynomial 
So when you talk about zero, in this case, x is equal to two is a zero of this polynomial, but x is equal to two is a root of this polynomial equation. And why polynomial equation is important? Because whenever you solve the value of x, you always equate it with zero. This thing will get clear from here. Like this is x squared minus four, okay. Now, if we do it like this, gx is equal to x squared minus four is equal to zero. This is a polynomial. Now this is a polynomial equation. This is an equation. And why it's an equation? Because now you have this is this polynomial is now equal to zero. It has two sides, left hand side and right hand side. The same difference that we have in the case of algebraic expressions and algebraic equations, the same thing is here also. That polynomial is not equal to something, but the equation is actually equal to something. Here you have LHS and RHS. Don't get confused with this equal sign. It's actually to denote this polynomial by gx. It's nothing else. It's just a denotion of this. Uh, uh, it's used to denote this polynomial. But when you do it equal to some value, it means that now it's actually equal to something. That's why it's become equation. So when you will talk about root, then you actually mean for polynomial, but sorry, for equation. But when you talk about zero, then you are actually talking about polynomial. Ultimately, these two values will be same. There will be no difference. But just what you are actually referring to, zero for polynomial, root for polynomial equation. And whenever you try to find out the zero, you actually first try uh, equate this with zero and then you find the value, like here. Now your x square minus four is equal to zero. This becomes x square is equal to four. Right now, x squared is equal to four means what? X squared is equal to two squared, right? Or x squared is equal to minus two squared, right? Because this gives you four. This also gives you four. Minus two whole squared means what? Minus two multiplied by minus two. That is that gives you four. That is the importance of equating this polynomial with zero. This thing will get more clear to you when you'll move to higher grades and you, when you will solve, you know, uh, more and more uh, quadratic equations, cubic equations, equations in fourth degree, in fifth degree, in sixth degree, and so on and so forth, like nth degree. So now in this case, x squared is equal to 2 squared means what? x is equal to 2. In this case, x squared is equal to minus 2 squared means that x is equal to minus 2. Therefore, for this particular polynomial equation, you have two roots x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 2. This polynomial equation has two roots that is x equal to 2 and x equal to minus 2. Therefore, this polynomial has two zeros, two zeros, here you have two roots, you have two zeros, x is equal to 2 and x equal to minus 2. It means that if you put g2, you get 2 squared minus 4 that is 0. If you put g minus 2, it means that you do minus 2 whole squared minus 4 and you get zero right little difference they are quite similar but little difference okay so in general if we say that if t is a root or zero if t is the root or zero of this polynomial that px is equal to a n x raised to the power of n then a n minus one x raised to the power of n minus one and so on and so forth a one x plus a zero this we have learned is actually the way to express a polynomial in of nth degree right so if t is the root it means that if you put at the place of x if you put t you get a n t raised to the power of n plus a n minus one t raised to the power of n minus one and then up to a1 t plus a0 if t is the root or zero then this will become equal to zero t is the root or zero of this polynomial right it means that if you put t at the place of x you'll get finally you'll equate this polynomial will become zero